Hey everyone, Kim Chika here. Welcome to the channel. This has been a standout year for video games. I keep saying it, I'll probably keep saying it, uh, and the indie realm is no exception. I could field one, more than one, like two, three, four videos on all of the indie games that blew my mind this year with how great they were. So be sure to follow my Twitter, KimChika25, if you would like more indie game news, because I do post there. That does leave us with one tiny issue, because there were so many incredible games, and if you were like me, you found yourself overwhelmed with games to play, you might have found yourself also missing out on some incredible titles. So that's what today's video is focusing on. These are the six titles, I was gonna do five, but then one showed up last minute. There are six titles that I would love to share with you that you might have overlooked or maybe just put to the side and forgotten about, and I want to remind you that these are definitely worth playing. Figment. In this visually stunning puzzle adventure, you play Dusty, a resident in the subconscious of a person whose mind is experiencing a spike in the activity of nightmares. Thwart those nightmares by solving puzzles throughout the right and left brain and restore peace of the mind. Something's totally messed up in the mind. We need you back, Dusty. We've got a nightmare to end. So a few nightmares escape the gate, you're scared, huh? You have Hidden folks. Hidden object games are a niche genre, but if you haven't tried a hidden object title, Hidden Folks is the one to start with. The mini landscapes are hand-drawn and full of details that are simple yet full of life. Play this with the sound on, because the sound effects are as charming as the art itself. Sexy Brutal. While masquerade balls look like a lot of fun, this one may be one you think twice about attending. But you shouldn't think twice about playing this game. The maestro of the mansion and master of the masquerade, Marquise, has gone missing from his own party. Guests are being murdered left and right, but as the elderly priest, you seem to have some sort of immunity to what's going on. Explore the mansion, uncover the secrets, and save the guests in this puzzle game. Everything is going to be okay. This game is not traditional, but it is one of the most personal experiences I've had with a title. Navigate through the vibrant, loud, and intensely vulnerable pages of a digital zine housed in an OS that actually draws from a lots of operating systems and styles from the past. The attention to detail is mind-boggling, and I highly recommend taking the time to enjoy just a few pages at a time rather than barrel through each situation. This game knows everything may not be okay, but somehow we'll still make it through. I love this game for its realistic optimism, and I encourage you to give it a shot, even though it might not be what you normally play. Pit People Behemoth is a studio that's fairly well known for its titles, like Castle Crashers, and perhaps you did hear of Pit People when it came out for early access this January. But I had to throw this game in here because it is a strategy game that truly deserves attention for its hilarious and huge cast of characters and items. The true joy of the game comes in with the side quest and diving into creating your dream team, although the storyline does provide a lot of laughs. Gora Goa this was the last minute, the sixth addition to the video, as I only played it last week, but as soon as I started Gorogoa, I knew the word had to be spread about this game. This is a puzzle game that will change the way you problem solve, and while I can't say I knew exactly where the story led, by the end, I knew I liked what was happening. This is a game I'll definitely revisit just to enjoy the mind-bending puzzle solving it provides, as well as to explore some of the symbolism and nuances of the story a little bit deeper.
So if any of these games pique your interest, be sure to check them out. I do believe the holiday sale is going on, so this is your chance to snag a few of them at a discounted price as well. And as I said before, there are so many underrated and undervisited indie games out there, so if you have some that you really believe that they should get more attention, put them in the comments below or tweet them at me. Again, my Twitter is kimchika25 and I also stream indie games on my channel, so be sure to visit that. It's just backslash kimchika on Twitch. So I will see you guys in the next video. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and you love indie games like me, and I will see you next time.